Hey everybody, this is Chad from Good Creative Tutorial, and today I'm just going to go over a few techniques to create sort of kind of a photo collage, masked out effect uh, for kind of this photo splash look. Uh, so first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop, and we're going to use some custom brushes in this, and I'll provide the support files for those in the description. So go ahead and download that. It'll be five images so first thing you want to do is create those custom brushes we use these in another tutorial uh, but if you haven't downloaded these or and, cre and created those custom brushes uh, once you download them just open them up in Photoshop one at a time and just use the marquee selection tool here just click and drag around it go to edit then define brush preset and then just name it and hit OK then from then on it should show up whenever you choose the brush tool up here in uh, probably at the bottom of all your brushes that you have open alright so go ahead and do that for all five of those brushes or whichever ones we want to use and then uh, all the photos that I'm using are Creative Commons so I have the credit in there so go ahead and download those as well if you want to use those otherwise uh, just gather some photos that you want to use so once you have those, go ahead and go to File New, Adobe Photoshop. Uh, the size, just choose a pretty big size to work with. And uh, I did 1600 by 1200. So at 100% view, um, first thing we want to do is we could go to File Place and place those uh, other JPEGs in. I'm just going to open them up all at once. So just go to File Open or Control Command O and these are the six photos that I'm using here so go ahead and hit open alright so what you want to do is uh, if you have one of the recent versions of Photoshop you know CS5, CS6, etc. sometimes it'll put it up on a tab like so uh, what you can do is click and drag that off the tab like that and choose a new file here and you can copy and paste this. I mean, you could use the marquee selection tool and just go, um, and, you know, click and drag around it all or select all. But for this, I'm just going to click and drag it with the move tool. So I'm just going to click and drag it over like so. All right. And so you see, this is quite a large file uh, compared to our new file. So you can just click and drag the corner, hold shift to maintain the correct proportion if you want. All right, we're going to do that for all of them. Uh, what what we want to do is uh, I'm gonna hit enter to apply. Also, if you don't see the the edges there to resize it, make sure show transform controls is selected up there. What we want to do is kind of situate it over some text. So just choose some kind of name, city name. I'm just gonna type in Tampa. So Tampa. And uh, if you just click and let go, type it in, and then choose the move tool up here. You can click and drag. Um, and like that and let's see I'm going to distort it a little bit make it a little bit taller and with the type tool here I'm going to change the color um, I'm just going to make it black for now alright so as soon as you have some text here uh, go ahead and go to window layers if you don't have that up and I'm going to adjust the opacity of this uh, layer that we brought over the photo. Just bring it down a little bit so you can kind of see through. And just put it over this Tampa. I'm going to actually resize this just a little bit. All right, hit enter. And you just want to resize it so it kind of, you can actually put it above the, uh, the text layer. So you're going to see where it's going to go. I'm going to put that just kind of right like so, and hit enter. And this one over here, I'm going to bring over again. You could go file place, you could copy and paste it. I'm just bringing it over, clicking and dragging. Many ways to do that. Um, so with this one, uh, I'm going to kind of bring over here to the left hand side. And the idea is that these are going to overlap. We're going to mask out certain layers so they kind of blend in with each other on the edges. And then we're also going to bring it over the edge so that you will, will be able to add to that shape so it comes off the edge. And it'll make sense in a second. So 
Uh, I'll bring this one over. And oops. Close that one out. Alright. I'm just pressing control minus control plus. We'll zoom in and zoom out or command if you're on the Mac. Uh, again, adjust the opacity. And this one I'm gonna kinda put up in the upper left hand corner. Just depends on how we want the text to interplay with these photos once we add the clipping mask. So uh, this one I'm going to bring over and actually rotate it. Put it along the bottom here. Adjust the opacity again. Uh, something like that. This bridge photo. And just have two more here. Bring this one over. Just have this over here in the corner. I'm actually going to use the marquee selection tool. Instead of masking, I'm just going to delete out the edges here, which we'll mask out in a little bit anyway. All right, so bring that opacity down. Yep, that's about good. And then this one here. Kind of going to be one of the ones that I have uh, in the back. So I'm actually going to drag this below all of them except the Tampa layer. I saw the other ones. And I'm going to just have it go across most of it for the skyline photo. And we can still move them around, of course, but... Alright, something like that. So it looks kind of a mess right now, I mean, uh, but I'll show you what we're going to do. Uh, what we want to do is select each of these, and you can just decide what area you want to have one, what area you want each one to be, and how you want them to blend with each other. So go ahead and... At the bottom of the layers palette right here, it looks like a white circle inside a gray box. Click that to add a layer mask. And this is this one here. If you're not sure which one you're on, hit the icon. You can toggle the visibility. And we're just going to choose a soft edge brush here. Choose the brush tool. And then one of these here. Basically, hard, hardness needs to be 0%. And the size you can adjust here, but of course you can also do left and right bracket um, when we're over here too. So I'm just going to kind of just... Uh, paint in some black so make sure the foreground color is black here on the bottom of the toolbar and I'm just gonna mask this out this is instead of erasing we're gonna mask out because we can bring it back in by painting white in if we need to okay this one I'm gonna mask out this entire area at the top so I want the other ones to show through but I'm gonna keep this bottom area maybe soften the edge around the or edge there uh, this one here is this top one here, so I'm just going to mask out, probably keep the sailboat there, but mask out the edges. Actually move this over a little bit. Okay. And then this one here, and if you can actually Alt or Option click the eye and it will make everything but that layer. Uh, it'll make all the other layers uh, invisible. Alright, so this mask, and if you paint on here and you, you just see black like that, that's because you're actually on the layer. You need to make sure you're on the white, the layer mask there, and we can paint in some uh, black like so. Or paint in, yeah, paint in black and it'll kind of erase, I'll keep some of those lines there. And then this one is over up in the corner here. I'm just going to mask out all this area. And then finally the bottom one. It's below everything else, so we might not even need to mask out, but I'm just going to kind of give it a soft edge here. All right. So we want to, once you've decided that you have them kind of all in the right area, uh, and blend it in correctly. You can determine that by bringing the opacity back up to 100% for all of them. So just click on each one, bring it up to 100%. Um, let's 
So you can actually do it all at once. Just click, shift, click, and then you select them all and just bring opacity up to 100%. So if you have it how you like it, if you don't, like, you know, right here, that's kind of a hard edge. So I can mask a little bit of that edge out more, like so. And then here's a little bit of a hard edge here. Whoops. Make sure you're on the correct one. There you go. That's a little bit better, I think. Uh, this one here, this one. Um, I think I can make this a little bit softer and let that sky show through a little bit more, that skyline. And same goes for this one, I think, a little bit more. I'm going to move this one over, actually, to keep that sailboat in it, but keep. Get some more of that skyline in. There we go. Okay, so still looks kind of a mess, but at least we have the different layers blended kind of smoothly with each other. We're going to combine all these layers. So just select the top one, select the bottom one. Then you could go to, you know, layer and, um, you know, merge, but way down here, merge layer. But you see the shortcut there, Control E or Command E if you're on the Mac. So just press Control E. And then we have the photo on top of this Tampa layer, and that's good. Press Alt or Option on the Mac. Hover your mouse in between the two on the Layers Palette, and just click. And then we have the Clipping Mask. So with, I think it looks pretty cool now, but if we want to add a little bit more stylized effect to it, we can um, kind of add kind of a photo splash behind it with those splash custom brushes so we should have those already what we need to do is uh, rasterize this type layer first so if you kind of right click in between these two just go to rasterize type now it's not editable with the type tool it's just pixels alright so it's not um, like a vector text layer it's just rasterized so now we can actually add to it uh, with a brush. So with this brush tool, select some of those uh, custom brushes we made. So we have this one here. And if I just click and let go, you notice what it does. See, it adds to that layer so more shows through with that clipping mask. So you can press left and left bracket, make it a little bit smaller. Um, you can choose, you know, any of the five custom brushes we've made earlier. Um, and you can just kind of, of course, you can just click and drag like so. Or you can just click and let go and just you know, just do that once. So left and right bracket, make kind of larger size, and then just click and let go. And then you just kind of have more of a stylized look to it. All right. Uh, you can even do lines. You can do, uh, you know, if you bring the line tool or even just a brush, you can, uh, you know, continue to add to that. So if you uh, make these a little bit larger. You know, if it went like that, it'd stylize it even more. Um, so it kind of shows through a little bit, just depending on what your look, uh, what look you're looking or going for. So it just adds um, kind of a little bit more interest to it, a specific color splash effect uh, with the clipping mask. So it's kind of a fun way to learn about, uh, you know, layer masking and combining different photos to have a unique look, um, kind of a color splash look. All right, thanks. Be sure to subscribe if you like this video. I have a couple more Illustrator InDesign Photoshop tutorials on the way. Um, you can fan us on Facebook and also follow us on Twitter. All the links um, should be in the description and on our website, photoshoptutorialsandtips.com. Thanks.